All right, Tisha, thank you. Meantime, after a recent surge of violence this past weekend, a D.C. council member now wanting to possibly call in the National Guard. Let's get right out to Fox 5, Stephanie Pass Ramirez, live along Good Hope Road, where an emotional news conference wrapped up today. Stephanie? And guys, there's a mass shooting just behind us here by 16th Good Hope Road that killed three people on Saturday. One of them was a 35-year-old father named Bernard Hodges, who went by BJ. His mother telling us that he worked three jobs, one of the most recent, working HVAC at MGM. She says he was just leaving the store here, and this is an area where he would often feed the community. Well, it's that community that officials and community leaders are calling on to help end this gun violence, the victim's mother joining Warty Council member Treon White today in their calls for change. And yes, a very important part of that conversation was also the council member wanting the National Guard to possibly help end this violence. Listen to some of the emotion we heard today. Get your children! Get your children. DC has a lot of resources. They have a lot of resources, an abundance of resources if you need help with your kids. Because some of you know exactly what your youth are doing. So we're tired of this. Yes. And enough is enough. enough right. Excuse my language, but I want to be quite frank to, to the young men and young ladies. We say it's not okay for you to load up 30, 40, 50, 120 rounds in a gun and shoot up our community. Hey guys, after this, the council member told reporters that he has also spoken with the National Guard to find out what they need in a request, which is a very clear definition of how many members, what they'd be doing, and the length of time needed. The mayor previously pushed back when I had asked her after the July 4th mass shooting why violence th then didn't constitute calling the National Guard. Council member White noted today that a lot of the shootings are also happening right in front of police officers. He wants the presence of armed, sworn military members who have have police arresting powers. And he also raised concerns today about the issue of not enough police officers to patrol Southeast. So we did also ask about the council reportedly moving funds or moving to defund police in 2020. That's not true. The police budget has not decreased in the seven years I've been on the council. In fact, it has increased. And while the budget has increased, guess what also increased? The crime in the community. But it was an increase that wasn't approved by the council for fiscal year 2021. So was there a mistake on the council? There was not a mistake. We believe that police is not the end-all solution to addressing crime in our city. And as you know, that those resources reallocated to social service programs. And asked why the council can't do both. The council member said by the time the council gets the budget that it is already uh, planned there. It's already balanced, guys. And so the council member said that something does need to change. And he also said he plans to meet with the acting police chief sometime later today to discuss the National Guard request. We also spoke with the union who blames the council and police reform changes from 2020 on the staffing shortages and the violence we are seeing today. We also reached out to the deputy mayor's office. We'll have the full response for you guys on our new Fox 5 app. You can download it for free on Apple and Google Play stores, guys. Back to you.